Kentucky Senate President is calling for more studies when it comes to medical marijuana for our state. From the WHS 11 focus team, Paula Vassan is diving into what current research reveals. And when some experts say we could have FDA approval, it's tonight's Verify report. This is not uh, a drug that's a panacea to cure everything. But if there were more studies and the FDA or John Hopkins or, or somebody like that would come out and show how it should be used for medicinal and therapeutic values, then I think it would be an easier path forward. That's Kentucky Senate President Robert Stivers. He said he's open to discussing the issue of legalizing medical marijuana, but personally has concerns about passing legislation. One reason, he says, is lack of research. So we want to know, have the FDA and other leading scientists shown how medical marijuana should be used? Our sources are a spokesperson with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and Dr. Susan Weiss, director of the Extramural Research Division at the National Institute on Drug Abuse. The FDA spokesperson directed us to a statement on its website, which says, FDA is aware that some companies are marketing products containing cannabis and cannabis-derived compounds in ways that violate the federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act and that may put the health and safety of consumers at risk. The agency is committed to protecting the public health, while also taking steps to improve the efficiency of regulatory pathways for the lawful marketing of appropriate cannabis and cannabis-derived products. So far, the FDA has approved four marijuana-related drug products for the treatment of seizures in children, along with the treatment of nausea and severe weight loss from AIDS or cancer chemotherapy. So we certainly believe there's therapeutic potential for marijuana, but I think we need to know more. Dr. Weiss estimates it could take at least a year or more before we could have FDA approval of marijuana for a medical illness. We're not yet in a position to tell people what it's good for, what, what doses they should be taking. So we can confirm that no, based on scientific research, the FDA does not have enough information to approve medical marijuana for any illness. Clinical trials are still underway. Researchers say one of the aspects they're studying is how marijuana or some of its components might be used to manage pain. With your Verify, I'm Paula Vassan. If you have something you want us to verify, send us a message. The Verify team will certainly look into it. Here's the email address, verify at whs11.com, and you can always message us on Facebook as well. So where does marijuana stand in the Kentucky legislature right now? Republican Re Representative Jason Nemus of Middletown is working on a bill now to legalize medical marijuana. Last year, a bill passed out of the House, but it stalled in the Kentucky Senate. This year, though, Republican Senator Damon Thayer says he will not block the bill for discussion. He's just not going to vote for it for personal reasons. Over in Indiana, marijuana bills are also making their way into the agendas. We're one of 12 states that have neither. And if we wait around for the federal government to do, you know, to dictate policy, shame on us. Shame on us. At Southern Indiana Representative Jim Lucas, he is working on two bills. One would allow for recreational adult use in Indiana. The second would legalize medical marijuana. Ten bills to expand marijuana use failed during the last session. Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb has said in the past that he is against legalizing marijuana.